Everyone, it is a Thursday night. We are in Seattle's Ravenna neighborhood, and we are very excited right now about this food. Yeah, I live in this neighborhood, <laughs> just down the street, so I drive by here all the time. I'm yeah. very excited about this place. Did not know it was here. Brand new. Oh. Chef Eduardo Jordan opened this place in December. It's named Lucinda Grain Bar, and it's named after his uh, great grandma. Aww. His uh, sister now shares the name. It's her middle name. Very meaningful. Yeah, definitely. Yes. And lots of good food. A lot of it is grain based, obviously, hence the name. So I have the most popular, or one of the most popular menu items. It's the Freakable. It smells amazing. Delicata squash, braised lamb, Brussels sprouts, all sorts of delicious stuff. Looks so good. Yeah. Okay, I have the meatball press sandwich, and they make everything in house, including the bread yeah. and the meatballs, with our, which are spiced with like Ethiopian spices. Ooh. Yeah. I don't think they make these guys in house, but this is the. Uh, they bring. <laughs> I hope they, not. They, yeah. they bring these in. They don't have a tank in the back or anything. So <laughs> the purple barley grain bowl. And when you come in here, you may be overwhelmed by delicious smells because this kitchen also doubles as the pastry commissary oh, for chefs' other two restaurants as well. So lots going on here. Absolutely. And Chef Jordan is celebrating Black History Month by hosting a lot of great events at all of his restaurants. So a lot of good stuff going on there. Yeah, these gatherings will bring together great food and conversation, all to bring awareness to the diverse culture of African-American cuisine and the people behind it. Yeah, you can find a list of all of the things going on this month here on our website, king5evening.com. And while we're talking about food, let's 